back to the comment section. I'm Brett Cooper. We talk a lot about protecting kids on the show. I think you all know by now, my line in the sand is children on any issue. Our society is hypersexualized and disgusting on everywhere. This is not really a political issue in my mind. It is a cultural issue. It is something that has been going on for years now. And it's something I care very deeply about. And at this point, I really do not think there are many safe places for children left. Like the world is just not a protected place for kids. We already know it, but every day that I do this show and that I do this research, I get more and more disgusted and concerned. And this time it's about Spotify. You might've seen this story. It's been kind of bubbling for a couple of weeks now, but I did some more research and I just feel like it needs to have a permanent place on the show. But before we get into it, make sure that you like this video, subscribe to this channel if you've not already, ring that notification bell. And if you have not joined Daily Wire yet, we have an awesome holiday holiday sale going on. You can go to dailywire.com slash subscribe. Use code holiday at checkout for 30% off of an annual membership. I'm about to talk about some really disgusting things going on with children. And one of the things that I am most proud about with Daily Wire is that we are investing $100 million into making children's content that is actually appropriate for children. So if after watching this, you were even more disgusted, you can go use that code and get a membership there. All right, anyway, here we go. So I first want to give a shout out to Aldo. He is a new personality over at PragerU. And I first saw all of this information through a reel that he posted on on Instagram and then a tweet that he put out. He said, if you search music videos on Spotify, dozens of pornographic tracks appear featuring sexually explicit album covers. Multiple parents are reporting their children stumbling across it and Spotify clearly states that they do not allow sexually explicit content. What the <laughs> is going on Spotify? Now this is real. He posted this screenshot here. I apologize to my editors, by the way. Just give them a round of applause because they are going to be having to blur and cut out a lot of what I'm talking about. Something wrong, Patrick? You're sweating. But anyway, this is from Aldo's screen. He typed in music videos, shameless sex, two girls talking about sex, audio solo masturbation, small tits porn, teen Russian girl cute. She has released this porn for free, escort service in Butterfly Beach. He also posted a screenshot of Spotify's terms and conditions. Here is their section on sensitive content. They said, do not post excessively violent or graphic content and do not post sexually explicit content. And then they say what to avoid. Content that includes sexually explicit material, which includes but may not be limited to pornography, visual depictions of genitalia or nudity presented if for the purpose of sexual gratification, advocating or glorifying sexual themes related to rape, incest, or bestiality. So what freaking gives? This is on their content guidelines. They also have something that talks about like, are your kids ready to use Spotify? And they have all these, you know, colorful words where they say, well, we try to make sure that everything is, you know, 13 plus and it's okay. Just make sure that you're, you know, you're watching over your kids. Yeah, actually make sure that you're watching over your kids because that crap is what is on Spotify readily available for small fingers who are just searching through your music and different playlists. Now, earlier this year, we were dealing with Joe Rogan discussing ivermectin and the COVID vaccines on his podcast, which is exclusively on Spotify. And apparently that goes against their guidelines. It's promoting misinformation. It almost got him kicked off of the platform. It almost broke his $100 million exclusive deal that he has with Spotify. But this, though, they're just turning a blind eye to this. This is totally fine. Somebody replied and said, I'm sure that Tim Cook is looking into this and poised to remove the Spotify app from the app store. Yes, just like they are looking into removing Twitter from the app store because Elon Musk had the gall to buy it and promote free speech. It's also interesting because Elon is going through and getting rid of all of the huge child pornography and sex trafficking hashtags on the app and trying to clear all of that. Apparently that's not okay, but Spotify having all of this, oh, totally fine. That just goes to show how disgusting and backwards and twisted our society really is when it comes to protecting children and having decency and respect for what is appropriate for young people and what is appropriate in a public setting. Somebody else said, can we muster that cancel Joe Rogan energy to fix this? What say you people of the internets? And that made me really sad that nobody liked that comment. <laughs> nobody is talking about this. It's very indicative of where we are as a culture, where people care more about COVID misinformation than protecting children. People just do not care. And that's really, really upsetting. Now, I wanted to check on this all for myself, so I did. And the music video search, it brought up a lot of gross stuff, but I also learned that if you just search a couple of commas or periods, porn and explicit content also comes up. I have both of these here. I also have a screen recording that my editors will hopefully pop in here. Again, I'm so sorry, guys. You're having to blur out literally everything. You are amazing. Again, everybody just say thank you to my editors because like last night when I was pulling all of this, I just had major eye strain and was giving myself like stress headaches because it is so disgusting, which is 
is okay because I have my Bond Charge glasses to help me out. Bond Charge is an amazing wellness brand with a huge array of products aimed at helping you sleep better, perform better, have more energy, recover faster, even balance your hormones. And my favorite products from Bond Charge are their blue light glasses. I wear them every single day because I spend most of my time on the internet breaking down these horrific stories for you. And so obviously I need these to help me out. These glasses are made in optics laboratories in Australia, so they're not mass produced in factories in Asia. Their stylish frames have been featured in GQ and Vogue, and they are made with science backed technology and tested to ensure that they actually work. So don't cheap out on other brands that just don't get the job done. These glasses come in non-prescription, prescription, and reading options, and they have different lenses for your various daily needs. Bond Charge also offers other amazing products like cold therapy, low blue light bulbs, EMF and 5G protection, red light therapy, and more. They also ship worldwide in rapid time, and they have easy exchanges and returns. So go to bondcharge.com slash cooper and use code cooper to save 20% off your purchase. Again, that is bondcharge.com, code cooper at checkout for 20% off. And we're not done with this story yet. So you might want to put on your glasses because it's getting more stressful. Now, out of all of this, the most disgusting thing that I saw was when I searched audio for kids. Somebody tweeted about it and I was like, oh God, I don't know what I'm getting into, but I searched it. And this first little podcast playlist comes up. It says audio for kids and I clicked on it. Two of these search results after typing in audio for kids is incestuous porn. Look at this. Mommy wants you to breed her and then your big sisters are your rebound and they have like awful descriptions. It's disgusting. But then that first podcast there, audio for kids. Okay, they have an episode called Tiny Goth Asian Teen Sex. And, but it has a picture of a cute little baby. It looks like an official Spotify playlist that your kids might click on, that you as a parent might click on, hoping to find a book for your kid to listen to, some nice baby music, I don't know, but no. It's literal porn. At the tap of a button, you can find this. This is available to children. This all came up even when I turned on my explicit content filters, even when I turned on parental controls, you could still see it. Children can stumble upon this when they're using their parents' phone. It is so easy. There were tons of comments on Twitter of people saying when they searched for all of these things, the same content came up. They were saying that some of their young children had found it. They were worried that their kids would grab their phone and like stumble upon this. That is terrifying. You cannot even trust parental controls. I was searching on YouTube the other day and I was looking at like kids content for another video. And in the YouTube kids content world, you put in your age and they give you age appropriate content. Some of the first videos were things about sexuality and gender identity. I mean, you can't even trust protected kid spaces anymore. Somebody replied to Aldo Sweet and said, there are no kid friendly spaces anymore. It's exactly what I said at the beginning. It is abhorrent. But the most upsetting thing to me is that this is not new information. Vice, of all publications, was talking about this in July of 2022. And Spotify has done nothing. They reached out to Spotify, they got no comment. Ridiculous. But what was most shocking to me is how Vice framed the story. Their biggest concern was the opportunities for porn creators on the app, and that Spotify probably wasn't the greatest place to publish your home porn videos. <sighs> They talked about Spotify's guidelines for a brief moment. They talked about how a dad had come to them and said that his eight-year-old daughter had found some of these audio files, but apparently according to Vice, that just wasn't really the big deal. And instead they dove into this whole conversation where they said that Spotify is arguably a terrible place to try to grow your audio porn business. Strict terms of use aside, the platform pays artists next to nothing. Spotify pays artists between 0.003 and 0.005 cents per stream, meaning that they have to get 250 streams before earning $1. Meanwhile, a site like Night flirt for live phone sex takes an average of 30% of earnings, but at least the creators set their own prices. Sites like Quinn or Despia work with creators to make audio porn, and there are tons of erotica producers to be found on Patreon where listeners can pay them directly. Like, guys, why are you putting it on Spotify? You could be making much more money elsewhere. Like, why are they so concerned with that? There's a bigger issue at hand, but they don't stop with that paragraph. They go on to say, if you are a legitimate porn creator, there's only one compelling reason to upload your work to Spotify where everything is free and the pay sucks. Visibility. Adult content that is not pushed off mainstream platforms, like how people use Twitter to market their OnlyFans, is a good thing for creators to be seen by adults who aren't necessarily looking for sexual content but might stumble into it. In the best case scenario, somebody sees your gay smut fan fictions, finds a Patreon link in your bio, and subscribes. But here's the thing. It's not just adults finding it. You literally said that 
two paragraphs above where you were talking to this father whose eight-year-old daughter found some of this porn and you are more concerned with adults getting the most bang for their buck for lack of a better word like that is not the biggest issue at hand why is this even on the spotify platform where they allegedly explicitly do not allow it how does it make its way through parental controls the ceo of spotify with all the joe rogan stuff said that he was really you know cracking down on misinformation and cracking down on their guidelines apparently you're not apparently that is all bullshit maybe vice is helping by moving people off of spotify and onto like adult only sites but like y'all you are missing the point the point here is that we live in a hyper sexualized society that mainstream media mainstream social media youtube music streaming sites they are allowing this kind of content to get in front of children as a society we had an agreed upon line drawn in the sand that we did not cross the protection of children and apparently that is all up for debate now and that is disgusting that is the real problem do you want to be the only person not caught up on the internet's latest news? I didn't think so. So make sure you're subscribed and ring that bell so you never miss an episode.